All right, Pokeroo, you're looking pretty fresh. This video is about two things. First off, an impression of this LTT screwdriver I've had since around November. Disclaimer, this is not a review, as I'm definitely not nearly qualified enough to give a real review of the screwdriver. If you haven't already, check out the Project Farm review, which I'll link in the description, if you wanna see a good amount of testing and comparison. So I'll just talk about my use cases and impressions. The second thing in today's video, I'm thanking all of you. A thousand subs in this amount of time kind of blows me away and I appreciate all the comments and likes and support I've received in starting the channel. But in this, there's also an apology and an explanation, but more on that later. All right, so I ordered two versions of the screwdriver. One is the all black one, which I'm only keeping as a collectible keepsake. The other one will be my daily driver if I'm in need of a screwdriver. So with that, let's take a look at it. I'm gonna put this one to the side for just a moment. So let's open the box. So in the box you get, if I can get this open, a LTT cardboard paper cover, which is upside down for some reason, sure. A set of standard bits right here and the screwdriver itself. And again, I purchased this from LTTstore.com. It's our website. It's <laughs> definitely it. It's real. All right, so I'm going to put this one away because, again, keepsake. And for continuity, we'll just keep the LTT uh, cardboard cover upside down. So let's get this off camera. And let's go to my daily driver. So off camera, I've had this for a while. I've loaded up all the bits on this one that I'm going to be using regularly. And I have to say that having all the bits at your disposal is super convenient. I am going to say, though, I am afraid, if you can see in here, these plastic bits that separate, um, or these plastic pieces that separate the bits. I am afraid they're going to break over time, but we'll see what happens. So the knurled part of the screwdriver is really slick. And one thing that I got to say is I really like that if you point the screwdriver down and you rotate the locking mechanism in the direction you want to spin the screw, that's the way it's going to go. So for example, if I turn it clockwise and I just go, it will let me screw in clockwise. I know this doesn't sound like rocket science, but I've seen other screwdrivers where this is done the reverse way and I'm not exactly sure why. But again, I'm not a tool reviewer. Either way, I like it. And that click though. So I actually need to put this camera plate on this slider. Let me get the slider out here. Okay, so while I put this in, I'm gonna talk to you about my apology and explanation. So here, we're gonna actually put this in the right orientation, that might help. All right, so I know I wanna go clockwise, so we're gonna spin this thing clockwise, All right? So what I like is you can either use the knurled end to screw it in, or you can just push down and use the back force. So there was a long gap between my Bell three gigabit videos, part one and two were shot like six months apart. And here's the thing, my work life can get a tad hectic. I've alluded to this idea that I work with pro audio and video in my day job, and here it is. So I'm a contract video editor for a music video company called Extendamix. Our job is to edit music videos specifically for DJs. So when you're in a bar or a nightclub or any venue where the DJ is mixing music videos, there's a high likelihood that those music videos came from us. Now, this video isn't sponsored, but I am very biased as I love this service a lot. We offer clean versions, dirty versions, when applicable, extended DJ versions, and remixes of music videos for DJs. I'd show you all, but I'm not trying to get a copyright strike on this channel, so for this specific work, I can't get the rights to show you. Sorry about that. What made me such a good candidate to edit for Extendamix as my main video client, I'm also a DJ. I do nightclubs, private events, bars, and okay. I'm downplaying this a little bit, so let me try that again. I'm based in Ontario, Canada, and my DJ name is DJ Buddha. I'm a syndicated radio DJ on eight radio stations through Chorus Entertainment. I do a show that airs on Saturday nights from 9 p.m. to midnight 
alongside my partner, Mr. D. Also, like Extendamix, this video is not endorsed or sponsored by Chorus Entertainment, but I thought I'd share the stations that the show airs on every week. Oh, and by the way, the show is called Turn Up. So we're on Energy 95.3 in Hamilton, Toronto, and Southern Ontario, 91.5 The Beat in Kitchener, Waterloo, and Cambridge, Fresh 1031 in London, DJ Giga. Magic 106 in Guelph, Fresh 93.1 in Barrie and throughout Simcoe County, 100.5 Fresh Radio in Peterborough, 104.3 Fresh Radio in Kingston, and 104.5 Fresh Radio in Cornwall. And as a side note, I did an absolutely terrible job naming those stations because I'm not a radio announcer. That's my partner in crime, D, who has way more energy than I do on a mic, which is why I'm the DJ. I mean, here's proof. You always find the weirdest things in a radio station. I was looking for a helmet, couldn't find one. So does this work for a helmet? Hello? Back to the screwdriver for just a second. So I'm gonna leave the screwdriver up here and I'm gonna take the slider down. In my infinite wisdom, I picked the screw to put into the slider that's not magnetized. So what I've done instead is I've got this little baggie of case screws for a computer, which is like the use case for something like the line of screwdriver. So we're going to dump these out here. I'll show you guys something. So the magnet was one of the selling points of the screwdriver. And this is not a use case when you're building a computer, like you're not taking this amount of screws out of a computer, but we've all had that situation when building a computer where you drop a screw and then you're looking for the screw. And then when you can't find the screw, or maybe you do see the screw, but you can't reach it, you're picking the computer up and you're shaking it and you're hoping you don't break anything. But basically look at that as I drop one off the side of the table, whatever. That is obscene. Like the use case for that is like unheard of. One of the other interesting bits, pardon the pun, about the screwdriver, I'm gonna actually open it here. There is, if I can find it, an extension bit. Now this is pretty cool. So you take this and you throw it in the end and sure, you can use it to pick up a screw if you want to, if that's what you need to do. Well, I was like on there. But also, if you take your bit and you need to get in just a little further, not that you would use a flathead, <laughs> but you can get in there. That's actually pretty slick. I like that. And also, it's still magnetized um, with the extension bit on. So that is actually pretty cool. So this long winded apology is because when I posted Bell 3 gig part one in April of 2022, it was right around the time the pandemic was lifting in our region. And like every event that I had postponed in 2020 just happened to line up on almost every weekend through the spring and the summer, basically up to Canadian Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna tie this in with Linus Media Group. When he started YouTube, online video was a very unsure business. He took a non-traditional route and well, if you know who he is, you know that his business is doing extremely well. And while I took the route of traditional media, I can't help but be inspired by everything he accomplished and continues to accomplish. And on a side note, this is a very expensive fidget to do talking head videos with. I promise I'm actually gonna use this thing as it's meant to be used. But why did I even buy the screwdriver or subscribe to Floatplane? because I want to support that cause. Watching what Linus and his team have done over the last decade is awe-inspiring. And I know that on a monetary level, and I'm very aware that this may sound ridiculous, but I never thought I would get the kind of engagement on the very few videos I've posted. And to me, I've seen from the comments, the likes, the subs, the watch time, and believe me, I see the watch hours. A lot of you are surprisingly watching, but you're all super supportive in all of those interactions. I wanted to shoot this video to promise you that I'm committed to building this channel beyond talking about a couple of internet service providers. And just so you know, there have been major investments made on my end for this channel, like this three camera setup that I'm rocking right now. I'm gonna go over that in a future video and I wanna cover more great things, but at this moment, my priority right now is to say thank you. Thank you for supporting this channel. You know, hitting a 
thousand subs and 4,000 watch hours. I've monetized the channel to help recoup some of my investment, but hopefully I can actually start making great content that you would be so proud to watch. And hey, even make some money. So bottom line, impressions of the screwdriver. Again, not a review. I'm fairly impressed. There will be more revisions, I can guarantee you that, because Linus is not gonna turn down you know, a means to make money. <laughs> but for his first start, Linus Sebastian, I'll tell you this, this product seems to be a winner in my books. And maybe one day I'll meet you, and we can both cringe react to this video. <laughs> but between now and then, I got video scripts to write and content to make for you all. So again, thank you for a thousand subs. You know, if you want to watch some of those Canadian internet service provider videos that I was talking about earlier, I'll leave a link to a playlist, I think, in the top right. I think that's the way I'm supposed to point. I'm still new at this YouTube thing. Regardless, thank you so much. My name is Sean. This has been Tech Mixer. I'm out.